I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a fuel cartridge for the hybrid stove. What we need here is just your basic soup can. We need some cardboard. Of course, uh, candles or what paraffin wax. I found that buying the uh, candles in bulk is probably about your cheapest bet. But you can use paraffin wax too, it's not that big a deal. And we're going to be using a Dremel tool. We need a marker, cardboard, and a very sharp knife. So, let's get started here. Now we know the fuel cell in the hybrid stove is usually about two inches I made it. Uh, I think it was an inch and a half. I'm not 100% certain, so we're just going to go with an inch and a half. And I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and mark a line here all the way around our can. Yeah, I think the inch and a fourth is going to work a lot better for us. I couldn't remember exactly what size they are, and that looks just about right. Okay, next thing we're going to need is the Dremel tool. Now I'm going to go ahead and wear a mask because it's going to release a lot of particles in the air, and I really do not want to breathe those in. So we're going to go ahead and safety gear up. Got our mask, of course the glasses. Let's go ahead and cut that real quick. We got that done. Don't think we'll be needing the mask anymore. Let's set that aside. We can go ahead and start cutting out our cardboard. So let me clear this area out a little bit. We're going to discard this for now, but I'll save that. I'm sure I'll make something out of that eventually. So we made it about an inch and a quarter. What we're going to do is just go ahead and mark an inch and a quarter on our cardboard. And then we're just going to line that up and go ahead and slice out about three, maybe four strips of cardboard real quick. And yes, we're using a very sharp knife. Cut it down here because I don't want to press too hard and cut a hole through the counter. There'll be something else I get to fix that's just not very fun. Now we'll just use this one as a guide. And go ahead and cut the rest of the strips. Now we got all four of our strips cut. We're going to check to make sure they fit in the cartridge. Yep. Actually lined up quite nicely, believe it or not. I'm not sure how that happened. But next phase is we're just going to simply take them and roll them up in a real nice curl like this. And then stick it and place it in the cartridge. Simply roll up another one. And 
go. Almost got it. Put it in there. Just tight and uh, pull the salt shaker back in there. Now you can use a pepper shaker, I find. <laughs> But I like the salt shaker for some reason. I just throw that in there as a little extra added something. There we go. Actually, yep. One more to put in there. It looks like it's going to be tight. Let's see if we can get this to fit. Huh. Not bad. They all went in there great. Now, I'm going to clear some of this area out because i got quite a mess going. I'm going to go ahead and put the salt shaker away. Now, next thing we're going to do is we've got to melt some wax now. Now, I'm sure you already know this, but I'm going to go through it anyway. Anytime you want to melt wax down, you're definitely going to want to use a pot of water. You don't want to melt it down on its own because, well, it could be an accident. You just don't want to have those. It's already a little wax in there. So we're going to fill this up. I want to say about halfway full. And we want to make sure that we don't have too much water in there because we don't want the, the can tipping over or floating. That yeah, looks really good. Let's go ahead and throw this on the stove. And now we just sit back and wait for the wax to melt down. And you uh, definitely want to keep an eye on it. You never want to heat up a wax unattended. And you want to make sure the water, when it comes to a boil, just back it off a little bit. Because when it's boiling, it kind of makes the can tip around. So basically, we're just going to wait. Yeah, we're getting really close. I'm going to go ahead and scoot this back a little bit. There we go. Now, I'm going to take our little fill cartridge. And this is some of the wax off some of the other candles I melted down. I'm simply just going to take that and put it in there in between two of the little uh, pieces of cardboard we rolled up. And the reason I'm doing that, it's just a little bit easier to light the uh, fuel cell up. So, and I'm going to show you another real, little trick for pouring wax, is what we're going to do, is we're going to put a glove on so I don't fry my fingers, is I like to put a little bit of a uh, bend in the can, it makes it a lot easier to pour the wax out, that way we don't have no accidents. So we made a little pour spout in the can here. Perfect. Okay, the only thing left to do is basically fill our cartridge up. So we're going to set that down. And this is going to be another glove here. Pull this out and fill the cartridge. We're just going to slowly fill that guy up. Start the center. Kind of work our way out. They're spilling a little bit, but that's all right. Now you know why I'm wearing gloves. I think that's going to do the trick right there. And we're simply just going to let that cool down. It probably takes an hour to two hours, or you can speed the process up and put it in the refrigerator. But since I'm in not a big hurry, I'm not really going to worry about it. And now you know why I put the cardboard on the counter because, well, I'm going to make a mess. There's no way around it. 
we're going to give that time to cool down and while that's happening I'm going to make me some uh, more fire starters well now it's cool to the touch and pretty much dry and what it looks like when it's done drying is pretty much a cinnamon and there you have it a brand new fill cartridge for the hybrid stove as always thanks for watching